Oh my god, so today I wake up to this Raven Oscar screaming for food. And my bedroom's right on top of his Avery. So all I heard from the morning is quack quack quack, it's not stopping. So I've come down to give him a little bit of breakfast. Um I got some type of seeds, all type of seeds in there, nuts, seeds, because apart from meat they eat a lot of seeds, fruit and veg as well. Yeah, so yeah, I've stopped squawking. Um, I've left some food there for him in the bowl, which I just looked and it's all empty as well. He's greedy. Suppose that's what they do. He's a growing bird and he's non-stop. Um, I wanted to keep him a little bit hungry as well for training, but obviously he's already at the food I left in the bowl. So I'm just trying to get him to come onto my hand and train birds. The be best way it works is by come rewarding on. them with food. Hey, Oscar, come on. I still got my hand out there now. He's not realizing what I want him to do. Won't take him longer to work it out. There you go. Um, I've had him outside today as well without his leash. He's been just jumping around the garden, flying back and forth and jumping on my hand, jumping off my hand. Uh, I took a risk. Because uh, while they're learning, they can just literally fly off to the garden next door and just take off without realizing where they're going to go on land. So I took a risk today. Um, and obviously to do this, you need the bird to be just a little bit more hungry. But yeah, he's really enjoying this. Got a bit of uh, dog biscuits in there. I got a bit of dried sweet corn, nuts, berries, all type of barleys and all that. These are the things they would normally eat in the wild, and as you can see, he's really lapping that up. He's really loving that food, so that's good. And then he's also fed about five, six day old chickens, chicks, literally small little chicks, for his um, for the protein and all the meat that he requires. You can give him liver, boiled egg, um, go to the butchers, they'll have a lot of meat up there, you know, so that's yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of variety of food you can give a raven they eat literally 90% of all type of food yeah he's doing really really good guys apart from his loud squawking noise uh, more than myself I'm more worried about the next door neighbors and if it bothers them cause they like to sit into their um, garden it's one of the things you gotta worry about when you have pet so some of the things that you can tolerate maybe your neighbors will not like so as you can see, this bird doesn't stop squawking. Um, that's how it's communicating, talking. So I haven't had anything of the neighbors yet, but that's just one of the things I'm wondering about. So we will be building uh, Avery for Oscar at least 50 or 60 meters away from the house. So it won't disturb anyone. He'll have a bit of privacy. And I can bring him into this Avery for a few hours at a time uh, when he's fed off for training. That should all work out good. For those of you who are new to the channel, Oscar is a common raven. He's just over six weeks old. And I know he looks like a fully grown male, but he's got more growing to do. Ravens are larger than the crows. I say they're four times larger than a crow. And look at the big open gaping mouth. So he's still got his uh, baby things where he wants me to feed him direct to his mouth and he's just learning as well to pick it up himself and eat, and eat himself his beak really really hurts when, they, um, when, they, when the tip of it catches you 